Hey everybody, welcome back to Barber Dave's Barber Shop at Home. A whole bunch of stuff to go over today. Uh, new product, a product review. But before we get any further, this shave is brought to you by Nurse Dave's Shaving World, the bluest poker chips in San Francisco. You can bet on it and the preferred poker chip of Layla's Cornhole Nation. Yes. Just kidding, Layla, I don't know you, but you're a Dave groupie, so what the heck. Once again, there's Dave Shaving World. Anyhow, so today's shave, um, I need to apologize because, as you know, as a professional, uh, we pride ourselves on shaving each and every day. And I'm a barber. You'd think I'd shave every day. Well, I jacked my back up a little bit the last couple of days, and um, so... On uh, Friday, I shaved early in the morning, about five in the morning. Then when I got up on Saturday to get ready for the shop, I was like, that's not happening. So I've got about two days uh, on here. And uh, yes, it's transparent because I'm old. But anyways, so I've been shaving with the same product here for the last four, three or four days when I got it. And so I figured I could do a pretty good review on it. And what are we going to be shaving with today? That's right, Seaforth, their brand new Flora de France. This is an amazing soap. Uh, I don't know if the base has changed. I'd have to check in on that, or if anybody knows, please put it. But it's absolutely fantastic. And it's got geranium, citron, rosemary, coumarin, oak moss, and white musk. This is a powerhouse. Very fresh, very bright. Uh, it could be used both summer and winter, but uh, I have found that it is just absolutely wonderful to shave with. So that's going to be our shave soap. And then, of course, we're going to be using the matching aftershave and EDT, but... You need to rename this there, C4. This is an EDP strength. This thing is powerful. In fact, it is more powerful than Blue de Chanel, which, you know, you put Blue de Chanel on on a Tuesday, and the following month, you can still smell it on your clothes. So it's fantastic. Uh, we'll be using, of course, all the other stuff as well. And then for the razor today, keeping it in the French theme, we are going to be using a Thierse Izzard 6 8 La Legende. This is part of a seven-day set, and this one has the uh, leaf pattern on it. They've got different patterns and everything on all different ones. For the brush today, we're going to be using a West Coast shaving. I think it's called the Heritage Brush. I don't remember, but it's really cool. Snake skin type stuff, and then it's got a uh, badger knot on the top of it. Now, as far as the lathering, normally I have the soap lathered already, but I wanted to show you how quickly this gets lathered. Uh, it's uh, absolutely incredible so if you've got your stopwatches out it does not take long to get to a point where it's got plenty of water in it now just to throw a nod to scuttle soap yes this isn't the nuclear powered one this is just the the toned down version i will spray some water into the brush i don't think it's going to help but you know, this is for for scuttle soap. And also a nod to Bill M. Because I went full-on hobo. Now, I took it one step further. I didn't even take a shower Saturday morning. So, but I smell wonderful like roses all the time anyways. So, you know, uh, I can't. I can't hurt these hands because these are the hands of, of a master barber. So I have to make absolutely sure that I don't overexert myself. How I threw my back out, I have no idea. A lot of people don't realize that barbering is a very ergonomic type of thing. So when you're cutting hair, you can't keep your shoulders down. You have to keep your shoulders up. You're moving around. You're twisting. And old age and some other things set in. And blammo, I jacked my back up. It's feeling a little bit better. Um, due to some uh, liquid medication as well as, you know, your standard uh, stuff. So anyhow, just to give you an idea, now this is right off the puck, and I did wet the puck just a little bit. And the, uh, the geranium is really strong, uh, as well as all the other things that meld together. But just this is just off the puck, and you're getting all this. And it's just uh, tremendous as far as the amount of soap, and I don't know how many seconds that was because we were yakking, but uh, it lathers wonderfully right off the puck. The uh, razor has been stropped 30 and 60.
So even in the initial lathering, uh, it goes on super thick. And the, the fragrance is just phenomenal. And I'll go on a, uh, on a limb here and say of all the Seaforth scents, now I've not tried the lime, but I've got the heather and the spiced, which were the more traditional ones that Seaforth did back in the, uh, back in the day. Because this is a rebirth from a company called Spearhead Shaving Company. And um, they don't put out a lot of scents, but I'll tell you what, their soaps are really nice. So we'll add a little bit of water. And no, Brian, I'm not going to use the, uh, or Cutthroat Journey, I'm not going to use the sprayer. This soap will take on a ton of water. But it becomes very, very beautiful, very, very fast. Nice, shiny, um, thick for a DE, and then you can thin it out for a, a straight razor um, as much as possible. Just a wonderful, wonderful soap. A little bit extra water just to give it a little bit of sheen and slickness. And as I said, I don't know if this is a different base uh, from Spearhead, um, but I got to tell you, this is amazing. It's a great, great soap. Feels good on the skin. Um, because of the, the notes involved, even though it does not have a cooling agent per se. It does feel nice and uh, cool on the face. Oh, and also before I forget, right down here, www.theshavingcadre.com. Come visit us. We feel that we're, we're the best uh, shaving and gentlemen's forum or gentlemen's and ladies forum on the interweb. So come see us and check up here throughout the video for all my buddies over at the TSC that also do um, content on YouTube, and then uh, share it on the uh, shavingcadre.com. As I said, I've got about two and a half days of uh, growth. And this uh, TI, which was originally honed on a cuticle and then finished on a uh, translucent arc, has maintained its edge very well although like every other razor in that seven day set its geometry as unfortunately sometimes with ti you get uh was jacked pretty good so the bevel is a little uneven due to the There's a small warp in the blade, but uh, other than that, it's, it's in great shape. It's been a while since I've shaved with two days of growth. Although I don't grow my whiskers that fast. I'm not a chia pet like uh, Matt. And the residual slickness of this soap is uh, is fantastic. So if you haven't gotten it yet, I would strongly recommend it. The, uh, you know, after you have a ton of soaps 
although they all have their interesting characteristics as far as scent profiles, after a while, you know, you become somewhat nose blind to a lot of the different scents, especially if they're citrus or floral. Uh, this one right here um, is very unique in its uh, scent profile, and it almost gets stronger as as you add, uh, and it really makes itself apparent in the uh, in the EDT. Again, I think it should be called an EDP. Um, I'm sure the concentrations of the fragrance oils probably classify it as an EDT, but uh, I'm sure it could be an EDP very easily. I also want to thank uh, all of you, uh, both on the Cadre and in YouTube, for your continued support of the channel. Someday we'll get to the point where we can uh, um, have you donate to the channel, but for right now, we're just not quite there yet. We're about 7.15, so we're getting there slowly but surely. So sometimes by, uh, you know, sometime by the time we land on Mars, I may be at 1,000. So tell your friends. Uh, we've got a Zoom call today, which is always exciting. We've got a lot of topics to talk about today. And I want to thank... Uh, one of my buddies over at the Shaving Cadre, um, Graybeard57. Uh, I had contemplated doing a night shave last night and a video, um, but he suggested, you know what, just go full on hobo, let it go, and have it a nice, enjoyable shave in the morning. So I appreciate that, Bruce. That uh, was a good idea. Hopefully our Zoom call will go off without a hitch. Uh, we are in the soup, so to speak, as for our summer monsoon here in the high desert. And we are under a flood advisory because I guess these storms could get pretty violent today. So tons of lightning, tons of winds, all that kind of fun stuff. You know, I got to say, and some of you may agree, may not agree, there is something to be said about waiting a couple of days to shave um, because the efficiency of the razor, I think, becomes a little bit better because there's obviously more stuff to mow down. And, uh, but like I said, I, I don't, I don't like hoboing it too often. I don't like the feel of a scratchy face and all that kind of happy stuff. You know, and watching good old Nurse Dave's video this morning while I was having coffee and contemplating um, where in the heck he gets some of his stuff, um, I would have to agree with him. Um, the people that came up with the game Cornhole, which is basically, for those of you of a certain generation, uh, remember a game called Tic Tac. Yeah, Tic Tac something or a beanbag toss where you had a, a plastic uh, uh, thing that went on the ground and it had X's and O's and you threw the beanbag and you played Tic Tac Toe. Now that, to me, was a blast because you you had a goal at the end. Whereas with cornhole, 
as Dave said, you're tossing a bean bag into a hole. But I guess it's the new thing. But the tic-tac-toe version, if somebody makes a cornhole game, because I don't think Hasbro or Mattel, whoever made that tic-tac game, and if you know the name of it, post it in the comments, because I can't remember the name of it. Um, but you had three bean bags, and each person threw three and tried to get tic-tac-toe. So in other words, you had to be precise, because you had nine different squares that rotated between X's and O, and you never knew where it was going to end up, so you had strategy involved. Now, that's a game. Add a little bit more water just to slick it up this last pass and thin it out. But I did find out that there's a brand new business that Nurse Dave and Avocado Queen are starting. I did not know this until my production team did some investigating. But Dave came up with a very good idea because he went into a diatribe of why certain hot dogs don't fit in certain buns. Well, see, here in the desert southwest, or the Sonoran area, we have what's called a Sonoran hot dog. The best hot dog on the planet. And they make a special bun called a bolillo. A bolillo. And uh, it's used for tortas, and it's also used for Sonoran hot dogs, where it has a canal that cradles, or as Dave would put it, and this kind of makes me want to puke, cradles the hot dog. And it, because on a Sonoran hot dog, you have bacon, you have beans, you have crema fraiche, you have all kinds of good stuff, green chili, and uh, it's wonderful. But he came up with an idea for the larger hot dogs and brats to have a bun that's hollowed out because they can be a little bit bready. And him and Avocado Queen hired a engineering firm to come up with something, of course, because avocado queens an engineer and um, they also looked at it from a medical standpoint because dave's a nurse so you wanted to make it healthy but also get that mouth feel and that taste of a good bun a good bun uh, so for that respect they came out with a new one so it's called sprecker and baker bunhole incorporated so keep an eye out on your stores walmart target uh kroger all of those should have them fairly fairly soon You know, and going back to the reason why you're here, shaving, um, is this uh, final pass literally is almost going through the motions because it's that, that smooth. So is there something to be said about waiting a day or two to shave? Actually, yes. Uh, I'm on some other personal good news. I was invited to teach at an event in early November, a barbering event that's going to be uh, educational, and it's also going to have a, what they call a barber battle, uh, where barbers from around the region compete in different haircuts. And I've been asked to be an educator at that uh, event, showing how to do a traditional straight shave. So I'm very excited about that, very honored that, uh, and I'll also be, because uh, I'm a uh, educator for a company called Roffler. I'll be very excited to do that. Haven't decided whether I'll compete in the barber battle or not. Because if I do, it'll be a flat top, because that's kind of my signature haircut. But doing a traditional barbershop shave for an audience is going to be really kind of cool. So I want to thank uh, Richard, a uh, good friend of mine and the owner of uh, Hollywood Barber College, which is my old alma mater, uh, for asking me to do that. So right now, as of just those three passes... The face is perfectly DSBBS. Of course, I've got a little neckle area problem. And this is going to be an educational moment for Nurse Dave. Because as we know, Nurse Dave was extremely lucky in his shave yesterday when he touched down 
with his uh, Tetalus essence where there could have been some issues. And he was saying how awkward this is. Well, just, and, and those of you that have watched uh, my uh, straight shaving instructional videos, thank you very much for watching them in the first place. I know they need to be updated um, as I'm old now. Uh, but doing the cross fixing is you want to make sure that you follow the line on your uh, jaw and come down at an angle and then either re-lather or what I do is I take the lather that's on the razor and reapply it. Then I will do the windshield wiping buffing and you always want to keep moving before you even touch down. Again, I'll add the lather that I've already used to do what I call the flat blading technique. So you're coming down like this. And that will finish off and keep everything as smooth as silk. And I will have to say for somebody who does not shave with regular straight razors, but shaves with uh, removable blade straight razors, that Nurse Dave's technique is spot on. So again, Follow the, the jawline, start moving. And then follow the contours of the neck, take the lather, re-spread it on, then do the windshield wiper motion in the buffing. But make sure you're moving before you touch down or I guarantee you, you will either get very close to injuring yourself or you will injure yourself. Again, with the flat blade technique. And then on the upstroke, you're actually starting down and then rotating through. It's the only time I really break my wrist. And for me, that seems to get everything just perfectly DSBBS. So again, um, the Seaforth stuff is just fantastic. You're gonna be using Paraso Alum. And then with your face still damp, as uh, Nurse Dave says, for a witch hazel, that's right, Quinn's. The witch hazel of professional shavers. Just a few drops. That's right, not two, not, not five, but three drops is all you need. And it is perfect. Now, the cucumber mint goes perfectly with the C4. Makes your face feel wonderful. So again, Quinn's. For the aftershave today, again, C4, Fleur de France. And like uh, A&E, uh, C4, uh, CBL, the reducers on this thing are fantastic. You get just as much as you need, not too much. Except that time I did. Oh, just a beautiful scent. Absolutely wonderful fragrance. And then we're going to do a little bit of talc today. Okay, maybe more than a little bit. I loaded this brush up yesterday and I never used it. Smooth that on a bit. And then the powerhouse that is 
Florida France EDT. Again, it's EDP strength. A little bit more because it's Sunday. Okay, that's it, folks. Thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us for our shave today. Uh, I'm Barbara Dave, and don't forget, this has been brought to you by Nurse Dave's Shaving World, the bluest poker chips in San Francisco. You can bet on it. Thanks for joining us at Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. Please comment, like, subscribe, hit the smash, the the subscribe button, all that kind of happy stuff. We certainly appreciate it. And come visit us, www.theshavingcadre.com. Have a great day. We'll talk to you very soon.